Okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. These plans will command a high price anywhere in the universe. My oxyduramic ray will soon cut through this Earthmate safe. Then the plans will be mine. Alert. Alert. Top secret plans stolen from United States base, believed to have been transported into outer space. Spaceship is type 37H, last reported in sector 25. Roger, research control. Patrol vessel will be notified. Fireball XL-5 is patrolling Sector 25, Commander. Steve Zodiac ship. Well, alert him, Lieutenant. Space City to Fireball XL-5. Come in, Zodiac. XL-5 to Space City. We read you, Commander Zero. What's wrong? Top secret plans stolen from research base during your sector. It looks as though this is the work of Grotham and Douglas again, Steve. Investigate any spaceship type 37H. Roger, Commander. So Douglas is up to his old tricks again, huh? Now don't worry, we'll catch up with him. Scan sector for 37H ship, Matt. Douglas has paid another visit to Earth. Okay, Steve. Uh, uh, continue on present course, and uh, I'll let you know if I side anything. Keep present course, Robert. Keep a present course. Area 79 uh, uh, clear. No sign of a 37H rocket in that group. That's it. A spaceship type 37H. I found him. But it's not coming from the direction of Earth. Hey, it's mighty strange. Uh, uh, say, Steve, uh, how long ago did that robbery take place? Well, Matt, it happened at night and was discovered the next morning. Why? Well, uh, the course of the ship had me guessing. Uh, uh, yeah, but, but now I've got it figured. Deblich has made a stop somewhere between here and Earth. Uh, why do you suppose that was, Steve? I don't know, Matt. But give me the course and we'll find out. I can see the ship, Matt. Dead ahead. We're closing fast. Space patrol ship. I should have known they would detect me soon. But the plans are safe. <laughs> they will never find them. He, he spotted us, Steve. And he's making a run for it. Well, if it's a chase he wants, he's got one. A 
curse on those patrol ships. They're too powerful. Okay, Robert, prepare to fire blast missile. Prepare to fire blast the missile. <laughs> Range 279, G0, 10 degrees, solar S. At the ready? At the ready. Fire missile. Fire missile. Mighty fine shooting, Steve. Blast missile effective. This is Steve Zodiac, World Space Patrol to Growth and Devlis. If you want to live, you'd better eject. Your ship's about to blow up. You win, Steve Zodiac. This time. Any minute now. It is three months since Colonel Steve Zodiac captured the dangerous spy, Grothan Devlis. As you know, viewers, Devlis was found guilty of universal robbery and was sentenced to 20 years on the prison planet of Conva, better known as the Space Pen. You'll never get me to the Space Pen, Zodiac. Never! Devlis secure in XL5 jail room. All checks here go. Stand by for liftoff. <laughs> liftoff A-OK. -okay. And so Colonel Steve Zodiac and the Valiant crew of Fireball XL5 write the closing chapters of this vital story as Grotham Devlis is transported to Conva. But one mystery must, it seems, remain. What happened to the top secret plans Devlis stole? Are they still in space on some remote planet? Did Devlis destroy them? Now, Boris, I will explain what we are going to do. We are going to rescue Grotham Devlis from Zodiac sheep. In exchange, he will take us to where he has hidden the plan. And then, just when he thinks he will share in the profits, that's when we'll double-cross him. How's the prisoner, Venus? He seems quiet enough, Steve. Say, that's an emergency red. Hey, Matt, check for a spaceship in difficulties. It ready, Steve. Shall I go over to speech transmission now, Griselda, my love? Yes, boys. We want them here. And with our rocket disguised, Zodiac. We'll suspect nothing. Emergency red. Motor failure. Request help immediately. What is your code name and position? Code number is DX29. Position area 7, sector 25. Hmm. You're not too far away from me, Steve. Maybe not, Matt, but we've got a dangerous prisoner to deliver to Conva. Are there no other spaceships in the area? Yeah, no, Steve. XL5 is the only one. I guess we've got to answer. It's the code of the spaceways. Okay, Matt, you're right. XL5 to CX29. We are answering your call. Stand by. Be with you as fast as we can. It is so simple. They would never refuse a distress signal. <laughs> It's the engines, Matt. You'd better go across and take a look. It, Roger, Steve. Uh, I'll get a thruster pack and go along to the ejection room. We're on free float. Take over, Robert. Hold her steady. Hold on the free float. 
Here, Professor, your oxygen beer. Thanks, Venus. Ready to eject. Okay, Matt. Report back what the trouble is. XL5 to CX29. I'm sending Professor Matic, our navigator and engineer, across now. Prepare to receive him. a deal with your Colonel Zodiac, Professor. Zodiac, this is Boris. You remember? The space spy. I want you to listen carefully to me. That's coming from the other ship, Venus. And Matt is aboard her. We've been tricked. Your Professor is in our power and will remain so until you release. Grow than dead, please. That is our deal, Zodiac. What do you say? Why, you low-down space snake. But Steve, the professor, he's in deadly danger. You will release Deblis at once and equip him with a thruster pack. And we want no tricks, Zodiac, or the professor will suffer. Okay, Deblis, out you come. You win this round. We're exchanging you for the professor. Save your breath, Zodiac. I heard Boris over the radio. You are well equipped on XL5. Hurry, Zodiac, we are getting impatient. Now walk, you two. I'm gonna make sure there are no tricks. Inside, and remember one false move, and the professor is done for. I told you, you would never get me to the prison planet. What now, Steve? I wish I knew, Venus. By the sound of it, he's smashed the mechanism that controls this door. <laughs> Sounds as though Deblis is smashing Matt's equipment in the navigation bay. Yeah. It'll take him hours to piece this machinery together. And by that time, I shall be miles away, completely undetected. <laughs> I don't like this, Venus. Douglas is really evil, and with Boris and Griselda to help, he could cook up something real bad for Matt. I'm afraid you're right, Steve. If only you can get that door open. <laughs> Deblis is about to enter the other ship, Steve. We've got to work fast. Hey, Robert could do this. Why didn't I think of that before? Robert, open door. Roger, open door. Steve, the professor isn't coming out. They've tricked us. That figures. We're dealing with some pretty low-down characters. Hurry, Robert. Open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door. Of course we will go to collect the secret plans, Griselda. Deblis is always good to his rescuers. Thank you, Grothen. And it was a good plan of yours to keep the professor as a hostage. Yeah, yeah. I have other plans for him. I'll show him what it means to tackle Grothen Deblis. Full power, Boris. Let's get to those secret plans. At once, Grothen. But first, I will get rid of this camouflage. Devlin sure made a mess of these navigation instruments. We better get started fixing things or we'll never track them down. <laughs> That's Planet Bull Dunder ahead. Get into orbit, Boris. But we have to land the entire rocket, Deblis. Alas, our craft is old-fashioned. But Voldanda, 
Isn't that the planet of volcanoes? even longer than I figured. You're doing your best, Steve. No one can ask more. Now I will get the plans and take care of Professor Malik. And what do we do, Groden? You'll stay right here and wait for me. Do you understand? But the volcano, it's, it is going to erupt. You're right. This is perfect. A good way of disposing of the professor. I'll lock him in that tower. He'll be right in the volcano's path. Just a few more neutronic electrovogels to connect, Venus. Oh, do hurry, Steve. What a wonderful hiding place this was. Now, the volcano is about to erupt. Soon it will be no more. And neither will you, Professor. You won't get away with this, Debris. No, sorry. And don't worry about company. I'm gonna leave Boris and Criselda on the planet so you won't die alone. <laughs> Volcano! We are doomed! Stop crying, <laughs> you weakling! Ah, that's it, Venus. Now let's hope we can track them before it's too late. You didn't really think I'd hand over the plans, did you? But we made a deal, Deblis. We rescued you for a half share. Fools! Yeah, you're gonna stay here. No one makes deals with Grolden Deblis. Stop him, Boris. He can't do this to us. Stop him. But how, my love? He has a ray gun. I've got it. They set course for Voldanda. The planet of volcanoes. My guess is that Debilis plans to leave Matt there. You could be right. We'll set course for there. I just can't figure what's happened to Steve. I, I sure hope he's okay. into orbit, Venus. Prepare to uncouple nose cone. Roger, Steve. Be careful down there. Quick, 
Talk if you want to get off this planet alive. Zodiac to Matic. I'm, I'm going to fire you a line. Make it secure and I'll try to get you out of there. Signal when you're ready. Good shooting, Steve. Now to, to get this line around those bars. Fireball Jr. on free float. Free float. Gotta work fast. That tower will collapse at any minute. Jump on the jetmobile, Matt, and hurry! Okay, Professor, it's all yours. Let me know when you've tracked our space spy. Oh, don't worry, Steve. He won't be too far away. <laughs> Not in that old crate he's flying. I've sighted him, Steve. We're closing fast. Fireball XL5 to SS Thor. Okay, Douglas, you know the routine. We've got you licked. If you're not on board XL5 in five minutes from now, we fire. Curse you, Steve Zodiac and all of the world's space patrol. One day I'll get even with you. They won't get away with this. Won't get away with this. Putting me in the space pen. In the space pen. In the space pen. Why don't you shut up? Shut up in the space pen. Shut up in the space pen. <laughs> I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe in Fireball XL5. Way out in space together, compass of the sky. My heart would be a fireball, a fireball. Every time I gazed into your starry eyes We'd take the path to Jupiter And maybe very soon We'd cruise along the Milky Way And land upon the moon To a wonderland of stardust We'll zoom our way to Mars My heart would be a fireball A fireball 